I'm going to show you how to make my world famous cauliflower mashed potatoes. And this is something that you can make for the holidays that is such an amazing substitute for traditional mashed potatoes because traditional mashed potatoes have a lot of carbs and starch and just altogether not really that good for you, but they have a really comforting and delicious flavor. So we want to replicate that flavor but do it in a way that is healthy and nutritious and low calories. So what we do, and if you've been to any health restaurants, they do this a lot, is we use cauliflower instead of potatoes. And if you look up the nutrition facts on cauliflower, it has virtually no calories, and it actually has a good amount of like folate and different kinds of minerals and nutrients. So here's a cauliflower, and I've already washed it. And we're just gonna chop this up into Kind of small pieces, it doesn't have to be that small because what we're going to do is we're going to steam it until it's all soft and uh, another option you can actually do is, is make this raw and if that's your choice then instead of the steaming just skip that part and we'll put it directly into the Vitamix and we're going to make this in the Vitamix because the Vitamix not only does it mix things up but it also kind of heats them up, so it adds a little bit of heat, but if you're cooking for a traditional family and they prefer their mashed potatoes steaming a little bit of hot and yummy like that, then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make it in the traditional way where it's gonna be you know, cooked and it works both ways, especially the way I do it. So we'll just put it all in this pan and so if you're going to cook it, you're going to put it in the pan just like this and we're going to add some water and I just kind of fill the pan halfway with water and it depends. If you're cooking for a lot of people, then you're going to need to make a lot. So you could probably even go with two heads of cauliflower or something like that. Depends on how much you need. But if you just need, you know, enough for a few people, then one head of cauliflower will be more than enough for at least about four people. So think about one head for every four people. If you need to fit, feed 12 people, then three heads. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the stove. All right, I'm back and we have our cauliflower. It is all in the Vitamix. And I'm just gonna add a few ingredients and I wanna give you some options. If you are vegan, we're gonna leave out the yogurt. But if you do dairy, um, this is an interesting one because it's Greek yogurt, if you can kind of see. And Greek yogurt is extra thick, it's got a lot of probiotics, and it's high in protein. So one serving has 24 grams of protein, which is a really, you know, a lot. That's more than most people get in a day, you know. But uh, it's a good amount, so half of this container is one serving. And we can put that right in here with the cauliflower. We're gonna make the cauliflower mashed potatoes. Uh, the other option is, and we'll put this anyway, but I'm gonna put some of this coconut milk. Or you could also do almond milk, soy milk, hemp milk. Any of those are really good options. You don't wanna to put too much because you don't want them to be runny. So I would say about you know one cup of, of the liquid to four cups of the cauliflower and we're gonna put some sea salt so again I love to use my pink sea salt Himalaya and uh, we won't put too much but probably about a teaspoon is good a teaspoon and uh, if you like it saltier go for it and then we're gonna put some fresh whole cloves of garlic so I already cut these up you can see them. I'm just going to put two nice ones in there. It's going to be real garlicky with two, especially because it's a raw garlic. This is really good for you. It's great for your, um, your cells. It's great for reducing inflammation, which is an anti-carcinogenic technique that you want to adopt into your lifestyle. And then the only other thing is if you want, you can add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So we have some Parmesan and uh, this is fresh ground, if you want, you can add that. And it makes it really taste um, authentic, like mashed potatoes. So, 
There we go. And we're going to put the lid on. This is so simple. The other thing that you might want to consider adding is a little bit of black pepper and some olive oil or hemp seed oil, which I love. So these are two different options for, for oil. I like this one. It's a, for women. So this one has a primrose, flaxseed, and it has isoflavins and it has a little bit of rosemary, so a flavor to it. And then this one's just hemp. But uh, both of these have omega-3, 6, and 9. So those are really good. They're great for your hormonal balance and also for reducing inflammation and all sorts of things that are very anti-aging. And since they're raw, we're just going to put them in here in the raw form and, and uh, so it'll maintain the integrity of the nutrients. So this is very key to the whole thing. So you don't want to put too much because it does have a flavor and some people don't really like the flavor. But you can put olive oil and that's one that people love the flavor. Um, so it just depends on your preference, you know. I like the flavor of these ones. So I'm going to put those and I'm going to leave out the, the yogurt for now and uh, I'll put it in later maybe for my friends. Um, but we'll just try it without the yogurt and try to keep it more on the vegan side, even though it does have the Parmesan, but it's going to be really good. So we have it all done, and here we are with our mashed potatoes, <laughs> and um, mm, they're a little bit garlicky, so if you don't like it very garlicky, put less, don't put too close, just one, and they're so good, yummy, enjoy. Here's the mashed potatoes, yummy.